Hey, so it's Amelia. I am sorry that the light's a little bit uneven today. I'm using natural light instead of my studio lights. This is going to be my bookshelf organization video. First of all, I'm just going to take you through how I'm organizing things. I'm going to do it by genre. So I've already organized all of the books. They're all in piles and stuff. I don't do alphabetical or anything like that. I am literally onto my third video ever on this channel and I haven't even brushed my hair. I'm actually a mess. <laughs> right, so these four piles are all of my comics and graphic novels. These two piles are dystopian and science fiction. This pile here is biographies. This pile is some random adult books. This pile is mystery, thriller and horror novels. This little pile is plays. This is bigger bind ups of classics. These are my classics. These two piles are my high fantasy book. These three piles are my urban fantasy book. These two piles are my contemporary books. In this pile there is mainly non-fiction and also some journals, art books, things like that. And then the last pile is my children's and middle grade books. And then I have two posters back there um, which I'm going to frame and hang either side of the bookshelves. I also have my Harry Potter books over here. These are going to be going on another separate bookshelf. the shelves now and what they are urban fantasy science fiction and dystopian and this is my comics and graphic novel shelf my children's and middle grade shelf contemporary fantasy classics of a mix of everything we've got horror thriller mystery some biographies non-fiction a journal it's just kind of the shelf where I don't have enough of one thing to make up a whole shelf so it just all goes together and over here um, on the bookshelf next to my desk I have my Harry Potter books and related Harry Potter merchy things mm -hmm. 